Ladies and gisters, welcome to the channel, or maybe you're a geek and nonsensical gamer, gamer. We're back, boy. Give me some moves, that duty. Back to talk about Marvel Rivals. By the eye of Agamotto. I am ready to put on a show. The announcement trailer is out, and you, my pedigree chum, are hype. You're excited, and you cannot wait to get into the game to see who you're gonna be, how it's gonna play, how the 6v6 third person hero and villain shooter, courtesy of Marvel and NetEase Games, is going to fare. Some people are saying that Marvel Rivals is going to be an Overwatch clone. 6v6? Overwatch of old, with characters larger than life. But one is first person, the other is third person. And as we continue to talk about Marvel Rivals, we have to look at this situation like Bruce Banner himself. Two sides, you have the utmost joy. Your mind is probably thinking of all the possibilities in the multiverse of character rosters on top of what we already have. I mean, the roster is stacked, and if you can just imagine what is to come, then I'm pretty sure there's going to be something for everyone. And if somebody could let me know in the comments below exactly who Luna Snow is, that would be a great help. It's always good to be optimistic. Optimistic guy. I pause for a reason. We have to have an honest conversation about what to actually expect from this game. When you look at NetEase games, please go and check the catalog. I hate to break it to you, it's predominantly mobile. On mobile, with a sprinkle of mobile. NetEase games, as a developer, are known specifically for mobile gaming. PC and console players are not as forgiving as those on mobile. We demand more. And yes, we should not be looking this way at a game. It's an announcement trailer. You should just bring on the hype. I'm with you. Be hype, stay hype, but also be realistic, please. Should you be worried? Yes. Yes, you should. It's Marvel. If you thought Blizzard was bad, what do you think Marvel's going to do? Don't expect much. Sometimes you need to just curb your expectations a bit, eh? If we're going to give Marvel and NetEase games any piece of advice, it would be Game Loop. Say what you like about Overwatch, whether it's the madness in its microtransactions, balancing issues through the wazoo, or the ranking randomness that has you screaming, what the hell am I doing here? There is one thing that none of us can deny, and that is that the Game Loop of Overwatch is it's just sheer bliss. That is what keeps players saying just one more game. And if NetEase games are able to get the game loop to this effect, then, maybe just then, they'll be onto a winner. It's not completely out of the realm of possibility that this game is going to do well. We know that. The question is, is it going to stick around? So, NetEase Games, if you are listening, take note to what the community is saying. They want this game to do well. Please don't be stubborn. But only time will tell. So if you are looking to get a chance to play Marvel Rivals, there is a closed beta which is launching in May. You have to sign up on their website and don't get your hopes up too soon, Sonny Jim Bob Jr. There's gonna be a lot of us trying to get in. Thanks for taking the time to check out this video today, guys. I guess until next time.